what's up? Alright, in this video I'm going to be talking about my very first time eating shrooms. So let me just start off by saying I am a recovering addict. I've got about a little over four months of sobriety right now and YouTube and other outlets help to keep me sane and sober in the meantime. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So my guy said that they were mescaline laced shrooms and I'm not sure how true or uh, possible that is, but uh, for the sake of this story I'm just going to refer to them as normal shrooms. So I knew that I wanted to trip on this night, so I had kind of prepped myself in advance. But also I thought that I was going to be taking acid that night too, so. But we drove over to the dealer's house and it turns out he didn't have any acid. Uh, all he had was shrooms. And I was a little iffy on shrooms at this time because, you know, back then all I heard about it was that's your highest chance of a bad trip right there. And you know, I've listened to and read some horror trip reports on shrooms and I just wasn't sure if my mind was going to be able to handle something like that. I remember he said something like, dude, you only need like two grams of these to get high as fuck. And keep in mind, this was back when I was still pretty heavy into my addiction. So I was a cocky little shit. So he says two G's is enough to get you peaking hard. So I go ahead and buy five G's. So we start heading back to my friend's trailer and I'm really excited to try these out, but I'm also very nervous. So when we arrived at his place, I tried a small little sample of it just to get an idea. And oh my God, it was fucking disgusting. Like one of the nastiest things I've put in my mouth. So I'm thinking, oh god, there's gotta be a better way to do this. So I got my friend's scissors and I cut the shrooms up into a bunch of little small pieces. And that was not easy to do. And it took forever, but you know, I cut them up, put them into a bunch of small pieces, and then put them in a peanut butter sandwich. And I figured, you know, this would probably mask the taste quite a bit. And believe me when I say I made sure to use a lot of peanut butter. And so I start eating the sandwich and it did help a lot with the taste, but that texture was still there. And they were like hard to chew, so I ended up just trying to like swallow these little shroom pieces without chewing them. But I, I mean, I had to chew the bread, right? So I still had like a bunch of little small pieces of shroom stuck in my teeth. Yeah, it's pretty gross. So anyways, about 30 minutes after eating them, my stomach started to get a little upset. But I mean, I just stuck it out because I don't think I really had much of a choice at this point. So me and my friend were just chilling on his padded bench, just uh, chilling, watching some YouTube videos on the Xbox. And it started creeping on. And um, it's hard to explain how I felt. But um, I also remember that I was having a little bit of trouble breathing. And of course, my vision was just slowly starting to shift into this other reality. Things started to have a slight wobble to them. Uh, darker colors would start to get a lot brighter when I looked at them. And I still had a little bit of trouble with my breathing, but I was starting to feel really good and really happy. I remember kind of feeling this connection with my friend that was sitting next to me. And he was just smoking weed that night. He wasn't tripping or anything. But like I was so relaxed, like I put my arm around him and I kept telling him like how much I appreciated his friendship and what it meant to me. And just how cool it was, you know, to just have him there with me. So, I mean, I was feeling pretty good. So he turns on this really trippy video on YouTube that he found. And as I'm sitting there watching it, I, like, I felt like I was getting like sucked into it. It was almost like watching a 3D movie without the glasses. Like I felt like I was actually like a part of it though. Like I remember one point there was um there was stars on the screen and they were coming at the screen like really fast and I swear it looked like they were coming out of the TV and like I was just in it. So I went out for a smoke. I was sitting in my car and uh I suddenly had the urge to masturbate. So I go ahead and turn some porn on on my phone and there I was just sitting there getting it and um like 15 minutes in my friend and I actually like opened my car door and of course I freaked out but you know he, he didn't even bring it up he didn't even mention it he was just like hey you need to move your car behind the trailer so I don't get in any trouble so I'm like all right but like I'm so embarrassed and shame is just written all over my face but anyways I did move the car behind the trailer and then I just sat there and smoked another cigarette because I didn't want to go back inside now because you know I'm so fucking embarrassed so I sat out there for like a good 20 minutes before for some reason I moved my car back to the side of his trailer and then I moved it back behind the trailer again and then I started contemplating if I should go inside or not. Okay imagine if you're just sitting there in your car just jacking it and somebody comes unexpectedly opens your door. I panicked and eventually apparently I just took off and drove home. Now please do not ever drive while you're intoxicated. I honestly don't know how I got home that night. I basically drove blacked out on shrooms all the way to my house and it was actually very far but I mean it must have been like my subconscious taking the wheel because like I said I have no idea how I you know got home in that state 
But I did get home, and I remember going into my room, and like the walls and everything in the room was just like swirling around and just doing all kinds of crazy trippy shit. I went out back to go smoke a cigarette, and I remember that I was just laying on the grass, staring up into the sky, just smoking my cigarette. So I went back into my room, watched some trippy YouTube videos, and eventually I just passed out. I woke up the next day on my floor with no shirt on, and I have no idea what happened. Also realizing that I had left my phone, my wallet, and my shoes at my friend's house that night. Oh, and also I had to go to my rehab class in like an hour. But luckily I had a second pair of shoes, so you know, only thing I told my mom was I left my phone over at his place, so she wasn't too suspicious, at least I don't think. I remember texting him during break in rehab on my mom's phone, just asking him what the hell happened. I did delete the uh, messages by the way. But all he told me was that I just kept moving my car back and forth to those two different spots and then I just took off. He never brought up what I was doing in my car. And to be completely honest, I don't know if he even knew what I was doing. Maybe like the way that I reacted, I was able to like cover it all up in time and maybe he just thought that he scared me. <laughs> but I don't know man, I never did do that large of a dose of shrooms again. In fact, I only did it like um, two times after that and I took three grams both times. Made sure to stick to acid because I just enjoyed acid a whole lot more. But anyways, yeah, that's my story. Um, I wanted to keep this one kind of short. And plus, I mean, I don't remember most of that night anyway. But anyways, if you made it this far, I seriously appreciate you. Um, and make sure to hit the subscribe button for some more videos. Because I'm trying to get them out pretty consistently. Thank you for all the support lately, guys. It means a lot. And uh, yeah, make sure to hit that like button. Um, Leave a comment telling me about your experience if you want. I love reading those comments. And so, yeah. Stay tuned for more. I will see you in the next one. Peace.